we are here at the Baltimore Comic Con talking to David Mack. Thanks for taking the time, David. He is the artist, writer, creator, everything for Kabuki. So tell us, where did you get the idea for this? Uh, I did the very first Kabuki volume. Um, this is the very first Kabuki volume. I did this when I was in college, uh, maybe like early 90s. I started working this in 93. Um, and it was just, a, I wanted to do a creator-owned book that I could include interests I had and uh, things I was learning and funnel it, you know, into the story. So I was a big fan of autobiographical comic books, but I didn't feel unselfconscious enough or even... An, uh, enough. put it all out there? Yeah, yeah, because I was so, you know, I didn't really even feel fu fully formed enough as a human to be able to do that. So I felt like I would try to make a, a comic that, um, or a book that I could tell like personal stories but through metaphor. Okay, so this is not autobiographical? But it is in many senses, but um, I wanted to make, uh, I wanted to make it universal enough that other people could look at it and see themselves instead of ne me necessarily thinking they were looking at it and seeing me. Okay, and what other projects are you working on right now? Uh, the newest thing I'm doing right now is a new Daredevil project for Marvel Comics. It's called Daredevil End of Days, and it's an eight-issue series that I'm writing with Brian Bendis, and I'm doing art uh, to it with uh, Alex Maleev and uh, Bill Sienkiewicz and Klaus Janssen are doing the majority of the art. So it's all creators who have done different eras of Daredevil um, and large chunks of their career on Daredevil all kind of working together on this big Daredevil. Because okay, I know you've done other work on Daredevil over the years. Right, yeah. Is there something about that character that appeals to you? Do you identify with something about that? Yeah, um, well, I read, I read a Daredevil comic for the first time when I was probably like nine or ten years old. And it had a big uh, visceral impact on me. It was during the, the Miller Jansen uh, era of Daredevil. And so it's amazing to be able to work on the character now when it was so influential to me as a child and kind of collaborate with that child version of myself and my memories of it uh, and and now and now even collaborating with the creators that inspired me as a child but now we're working together yeah. Miles Jansen and Bill Sienkiewicz. Yeah, so they're more your peers now. Yeah it's an interesting thing yeah the guy these guys who are like my close friends now and that I work with you know on a daily basis you know are, are guys who you know, showed me the magic of what comics are when I was really young and inspired me and, and that I learned from. I would read interviews of, of them talking about their work process or how they approach things and look at their art and learn a lot from it. So sometimes like Bill Sienkiewicz and Klaus Janssen will send emails to Brian Bendis and I saying, you know, hey, the script says this, but what do you think if I make the panel this way or that way? And we were like, that's, you know, everything we know, we learn from you guys, so that sounds great. <laughs> what is that project that you haven't done yet? What do you still have in your brain that you, you um, want to work on? I'm working on some new children's books right now. Um, I, I, have, I have some I've done in the past. Uh, this was one called The Shy Creatures oh, wow. um, that I did before. And I it, see a Dr. Seuss influence in this. Yeah, what is this? A, a retro <laughs> feel to it. it. It originally appeared in this volume of Kabuki. This is the newest Kabuki volume for Marvel called The Alchemy. And I use a variety of, of art approach in here. And every chapter kind of has a different uh, visual theme to it. And there was a chapter where she's reading this kid's book in a memory, and I kind of made like a little double narrative. So I wanted to do it in like that, like a very retro, simple style to, to contrast the mixed media of the surface style. And to kind of give you like a little whimsical kid's eye view of how to view the characters in the story from the allegory of this uh, children's book. And then Macmillan Publishing saw it like this and they made it its actual kid's book from... So it originally kind of exists in this Kabuki universe as a book that she read as a child and now you can get it on its own as well. And are there going to be others like this? Is this yeah, part of a series? sequels to that and uh, some sequels to the Shy Creatures and I have some other children's books. Um, so those are projects that I've, I've already written and I can't wait to do the work on. And I'm just trying to, I'm fulfilling some other previous obligations, uh, you know, and, and wrapping up the Daredevil project and some other things right now. It sounds like you're very busy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, no complaints about that. All right, well, 
thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you so much.